Hi, and welcome to Dax Chats. In this episode, I'm heading off to the USA, to Nashville, to speak to a rising or emerging country artist. Um, she's really emerged. She started off with a single in August, and then she brought out another single in September, and then she's got a brand new single in October. Um, she's just been pumping the music out. Um, we spoke to her uh, recently uh, when her first single came, came out called Pick Me Up. Um, of course, I'm talking about Hallie Kearns. And today, Dax chats to Hallie Kearns. G'day, Hallie. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing well. It's been, a, it's, it, it, I was going to say it's been a long time, but it's only been three months. <laughs> it's only, it's been really two since we last spoke, but it, so much right. has happened that it feels like it's been forever. <laughs> it, it does. It does feel like that. So, so much has happened. Obviously, the success of Pick Me Up was really good. It actually did really well for you. Um, and then you brought out a brand new song like five weeks later. Bang. I drink whiskey. Talk about that track and uh, how that came about and uh, how the success of that track has been. Absolutely. Uh, I drink whiskey has definitely kind of followed in the footsteps of pick me up and pick me up just had a wild amount of success for being my first single ever release and just kind of not having a, a massive plan around what I was doing. Just, um, you know, putting my best foot forward anyway, I knew how personally, but I, it was just, it really blew me away so much just to see the success it had. I Drink Whiskey came out five weeks later and it it's taken on the same streaming numbers and the same, you know, um, responses from everyone, which has been awesome. It's gotten added to a bunch of radio, that sort of thing. And um, it's just, I just feel really lucky and I don't know what I'm doing right, but it's, it's awesome. <laughs> and then um, I released shoes to fill which is my latest single well we're not talking October about 20th. that one yet we're not talking about that oh, one no. yet. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't jump ahead. <laughs> i drink whiskey yeah that was that's we had a little carpool karaoke video come out for that it was just me and all my best girls in nashville singing in a big suv and just yeah. kind of being funny carpool karaoke into it <laughs> that was that was actually a very funny video clip i actually watched that just before we went live and uh wow i, I was laughing all the way through it was good very good i'm so glad i'm glad you didn't take it seriously because we sure didn't <laughs> oh, no, i don't think anybody could <laughs> i love i love the i love the i love the uh, the cup you know in the front driver's seat i was like oh. <laughs> <laughs> We had two dogs in the video as well. Two of my friends had puppies with them, and yep. oh, it was just fun. A lot of yeah, fun. It was, it's really good. It's really good, uh, and it's good to see that youthful image in country, and to see that country yeah. is still alive for the young. And, and you've done really well. Uh, I drink whiskey is a top song. I, I absolutely, absolutely love it. Uh, it has got mm -hmm. some traction on our charts, which is awesome um so that's good to see um now we will talk about the new one you have uh again five weeks later bang a new one now this is very different from your first two because this goes back into a a more ballad uh style and uh more of a a, a personal uh thing about uh, i guess about your father and how uh somebody that uh comes uh comes into your life has huge shoes to fill the song is called shoes to fill yes exactly um i wrote this song i think it was back in march um and it the second i wrote it i knew that this is like my song it is mm -hmm. my favorite song i've ever written and just so true to my story so i knew the song was gonna be really special once i released it and i was hoping it would resonate with people and i'm seeing amazing responses to it and it definitely has hit different in the sense of, you know, I, I have released these really fun, upbeat songs and I wanted to introduce myself with that because I am a new artist and I wanted people to get a good feel for who I am and what, what kind of vibe they're getting with me. And um, I can definitely like kick back, have a good time, that sort of thing. But when it really comes down to it, the music I love to create is the more ballad, slow, mm. um, really real lyrics. And that's what the song is. It is about my favorite person in the entire world, which is my dad. Mm. And it's speaking directly to my future someone saying like, Hey, you know, I, I've been shown really well how I deserve to be loved and how I deserve to be valued by someone. So if you're going to try to come along and love me that way, like you have big shoes to fill. Like that's kind of the whole idea of the song. 
I've Absolutely. been shown that throughout my entire life through my father. Yeah. So yeah. I just have to really it's, step up to the plate. <laughs> it's a beautiful song. It really is a beautiful song and, and uh, it pays beautiful homage to your father. And uh, yeah, I, I, I'd be, I'd be scared for anybody that wants to uh, come into your life. Yeah. And that was kind of the hope there, you know, like you should be a little scared. You shouldn't think you have it all together. <laughs> so I really do like have a high standard for how I should be treated. And um, that's thanks to him. So, you know, I think the most powerful thing a dad can do besides you know, do the shotgun sitting on the front porch thing, which is like the overall threat, you know, it's just like love their daughter so well to where they're going to like know what they deserve, whether he's there or not, you know, and that's, yeah, that's what yeah. my dad really good job of doing. So um, more than anything, though, I wanted people to be able to hear the song and make it their own, whether that is like their mom in that place of that person or their grandpa, or they have a father just like mine, or, mm you know, maybe they met someone later in life, a significant other who came along and showed them that they really do deserve to be loved well. And um, I just wanted people to be able to put that kind of key person in place wherever it may fit. And Absolutely. I'm just seeing a lot of cool responses in that way. It kind of blew up on TikTok a little bit. I did a video of my dad crying, which he uh -huh. was not thrilled about. <laughs> <laughs> my sister kind of like snuck a video and I later put it on TikTok just because it's really sweet. And it's the first time he heard the song and he's like, you put a video of me crying on the internet. He's like, you're kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's TikTok. None of, no one in your age group is watching TikTok anyway, dad. Don't worry. No, no, no. That's right. I don't watch but, TikTok. But um, I had a lot of comments. Right. But, I had a lot of comments on that. Actually, actually, I do say I do, and I am on TikTok as well, um, but I don't use it that regularly. It's not a, an everyday Absolutely. thing. And yeah, my dad doesn't even have Instagram yet. So he's, there's no way he's going to talk or anything like that. Like, no, no, no. But some people were commenting and just saying things, you know, like, oh, my dad passed away a year ago or three years ago. I had a bunch of different comments like that. Like, this song yep. means a lot to me because it just reminds me of how well he loved me and that I need to hold that place for someone special or yep. um, someone who commented, I didn't have a dad growing up, but I had a grandpa who really filled that role for me. And like, that, mm. that is so special. That's exactly what I wanted the song to do for people. So yep. I'm really, really excited about this release and I'm just, I'm buzzing over it still. You, st you are. And, uh, yeah. and, <laughs> and, 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 word, and, 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 and word to the wise, um, my dad passed away this year. So also listening, to, listening to that song sort of made me take a step back and, and think yeah. about the good times that we had together, you know, and uh, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I'm just really sorry to hear that. No, no, no. It's all good. You know, he was old. Yeah. I'm, I'm old. So he must have been <laughs> old. <laughs> that doesn't make it easier though. It's just different. It but doesn't. No. Yeah. I hope it does and offer. It, and it doesn't, especially in in this year, because um, uh, you know he passed away when Australia was in lockdown, and I'm in China, so you know I couldn't even yeah. I couldn't even go there. I couldn't even be there. So yeah, it was tough. Mm -hmm. It was tough. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I need to know what is coming. I know. I think you've got an EP due to come out soon. Uh, I think it's around <laughs> December sometime. It's just as quick as the, the singles coming out. Just boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Let's just get them out <laughs> there. Yeah. You know, I, I just, especially during COVID, I can't tour these songs. I can't, um, you know, go push any one single super, super hard as far as my audience reaches online. And that's, that's about the best I can do right now. So I figured, you know, I personally, as a consumer, as a listener, I want to hear more and more and more from people because we're all mm -hmm. sitting at home. We're all like locked into the sense of like, it's just nice to have people you loved music continually flow out. And I figured mm -hmm. if I'm releasing music, I'm going to do it pretty quickly this year because I don't want someone to just go to my page and only have one song to listen to. So yeah. that's why I kind of chose to do it this way this year. Um, mm -hmm. But there is an EP coming out. Yes. And it is on December 11th which is also my birthday. I have to say oh. that because I think it's going to be really fun and special and like this big, it's my first album on my birthday. It's just going to be like a cool way to close out this weird year and yeah. just uh, celebrate with some music. So I have two more songs on that. It'll be five songs total on yep. December 11th, Friday. Oh, it's December 11th. I'll be looking forward to uh, seeing that. Um, when is the, uh, when is the uh, pre-order, pre-save, all of that stuff going up? 
that's probably going to be two to three weeks prior to that. But before then I have some like cool little announcements and sort of things that I'm going to involve people in. I will be releasing merch soon. Mm -hmm. Um, So it's just going to be kind of a big like wrap up to everything I've been doing this year and close out this project. Wow. I really push it. I tell you what, for an emerging artist, you've really emerged with a, with a bang. (laughs) I tell you, you've come out you've come out with all guns blazing you're not yep. holding anything back and you've done a wonderful job thank you i definitely don't dip my toes in very well i'm kind of like an all in or all out kind of girl so you're certainly <laughs> all in aren't you <laughs> like, okay light switch is on it's staying on like <laughs> I, I I'm just thinking, you know, um, you got an EP coming out in, in in December. I reckon you might drop the fourth single in November before it even comes out. I think you just might just go. I just want to get more music out there. A little stir crazy for sure. Yeah, I definitely keep busy. That is that is true. So um, let's look let's look towards 2021. What do you what do you reckon 2020? I think you know. 2020 has certainly been your year, um, even though we've been in this strange yeah. situation. But uh, how mm-hmm. do you see 2021 shaping up for you? I would love more than anything to get to tour these songs. Um, mm-hmm. That's all I want to do is get on the road and play some actual live performances. But um, we don't really know if that's possible yet or what that's going to look like if it is. So mm-hmm. I'm just being patient with the process and I am already writing for the next project, um, hoping to have some more music out in March. Uh, that's the <laughs> earliest probably, but that is the goal right now. Really? Uh, so early year. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> the, EP comes you, out, the EP comes out in December, January. It has to be. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. It's literally month by month right now, but. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make y'all wait a little bit for it. <laughs> no, I, I'm uh, gonna a bunch more music next year. I just want to keep rolling stuff out and uh, keep letting people kind of change with me and stuff. I know I'm a new artist, so my sound's still developing. Um, mm. As much as I like to think I'm stable in that right now, I know it's probably bound to change and grow and develop. So I'm excited yeah. to like kind of bring my listeners along with that and uh, grow with me and hear where I'm at at each stage because I think it's really easy as an artist to write a song and then hate it six months later. And so it's like, well, if I can just put it out before that time comes where I get so sick of it, then like <laughs> everyone gets time to like enjoy it and you know, get it together. So you you know, for me, and we'll, we'll probably talk about this a bit more off camera, but for me, I think I get sick of a song before it gets released because I'm, you know, you spend so much time, you know, going through the song, recording the song, getting the vocal right, getting the instrumentation right. You've heard it so many thousand times before you've actually released it. So by the time you get it released and you you hope the public likes it, but you're like, yeah, that was so yesterday. <laughs> yes. It's like when you say a word so many times, it doesn't sound like a word anymore. Yep. That's kind of like releasing a song. <laughs> I remember when I got my masters back for all five of my songs, I did not listen to them after I like approved them. Good to go. Masters are done. I did yep. not listen to them for two weeks. I was like, I cannot. I sat in yep. the studio with you for weeks, just freaking yep. out over every little note and listening to every little nuance of everything. I was yep. like, I will not listen to these yep. one more time. And then when they come out, there's a new life about them and you are excited over it again. But yep. there's a minute there where it's just <laughs> like, I don't ever want to hear this again. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I've, I've got a new song coming i won't tell you anything just yet um i've got a new song coming but um i i I threw a little i threw a little uh thing on uh my facebook page uh last night just to uh show some people that you know there's something new coming but you know a little teaser um but even that like like you know i was in the studio recording that yesterday and going you know but after spending so much time listening to it this morning i just i don't want to hear it you know? yeah. i get it i get it that's so exciting you don't have a date yet or anything no i'm 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 i'm, I'm gonna be strategic it's probably um that's not cool. it's probably not going to be until probably january or february next year because i just want to um be right with it you know get it out you know because again like even though i've been an artist since 1997 this new stuff is basically a new emergence for me so it's like um so it's like i'm a new artist all over again so i'm like 
So I'm like, I've got to do it right. I've got to get it out to the right people. So I've got to make sure that everything's in place before it even gets released. So yes. I love that. That's very smart. I think New Year's always the perfect time to release new music too. Yeah. So, so I'm looking That's January, cool. February um, for, for the, for, sure, for the new, did. for the new me. I mean, you know, new you, I'll, new year, new you. <laughs> I'll be, uh, I'll be setting up the new, the new David Daniel official Facebook page very soon. And um trying to get because i've got no followers now because you know i've sort yeah. of given up music and gone and 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 taken on radio and now i'm like i want to do music again <laughs> so, i'm so excited for you that's gonna be awesome so yeah it's, be gonna really, be, really it's gonna be huge yeah and you're going to be huge. I must say, you're going to be huge. You, you've you've done so well in so few months. I, I just can't believe how quickly you've rolled everything out and just how well they've been received uh, on your streaming platforms, on our radio station, you name it. It's been all over the place. You've done absolutely brilliant. And uh, I'm looking forward to what's coming, obviously, in December. Um Happy birthday for December the 11th, if I don't speak to you before that. Um, and happy release day. <laughs> you can pretty much say that any day, any month, and I'll, it'll probably be somewhere close. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Well, it's been wonderful talking to you yet again. And I'm sure you, we'll talk boys. again when the new single comes out or the EP comes out or new music comes out. We'll be talking again. Don't you worry. Awesome. Oh, I love talking to you. Thank you so much. No worries. You have a great night. All right. This has been DJ Dax and you've been watching Hallie Kearns. She's got three, three singles. Uh, she's got three singles out on Spotify, on Apple Music and all those wonderful platforms. She has Pick Me Up, I Drink Whiskey and her brand new song, Shoes to Fill. So get in, check them out, put them on your playlist, but better still, Go to the Country Thunder Network, countrythunder.com.au, and you can request a song straight from the player. Or what's more, you can vote for them in the Country Thunder 20. The voting form is at the top of the page. Until next time, before I actually, before I go, I should thank our sponsors, Fab APC. Thank you for coming on board. And as always, we are proudly presented by. Neon Horse in Stanhope, Victoria. Until next time, this is DJ Dax. You've been watching Dax Chats. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.